the Urban Environmental Policy Department here at Oxnell College uh, is a unique uh, major. Unlike many in the, across the country, know the liberal arts colleges, it blends together this uh, idea that you can have urban and environmental together. We merge issues of urban studies as well as environmental studies together. And we teach our students how to be practical idealists and how to be agents for social change. Our students come to us wanting to study public policy, urban planning, community development, food, food systems, food justice. Um, our students are really motivated by issues about um, poverty and how to change, how to improve poverty conditions for people in cities and in rural places. People are interested in justice fundamentally and how to change the world. You know, our students come to our, our department wanting to be social change agents and um, one of our core classes here in our department is the Community Organizing Leadership Development class that Peter Dreyer and I teach. It's an eight unit, um, two course um, unit. And students come to the classroom and learn about the tools and the craft and the theory about community organizing. But importantly, they spend 12 hours a week working with community organizations in the field, acting as organizers. Um, it's transformative for our students. And while most of them won't be organizers as they move forward, the skills that they learn as organizers uh, really um, give them tremendous skill, leadership skills in whatever field they choose, whether it's public policy, advocacy, um, running nonprofit organizations, um, you know, even working in a bureaucracy where you have to use organizing skills to get anything done. So the, the capstone project in our department is terrific too. Our senior comps um, classes run all year. We, add, we get our students to actually design their own projects based on their own passion, some burning research question they've been always wanting to work on. Over a year, they develop the project, they develop a methodological approach, they do primary research, they come up with um, applied recommendations. Sometimes they work with clients, other times they don't, but yet what they come up with in terms of their findings and the recommendations actually have real applications in the world. And more importantly, I think helps them find a passion and what they want to do in the long term. Students at Occidental College, so I was an Oxy student one way back, but let me just say, so Oxy students I think are, are natural leaders, right? They come out of high school having done a gajillion different kinds of activities. Um, when they come, um, we actually work very closely with them as faculty to actually get them to critically think about their experiences, about themselves in the world, and about you know different disciplines, whether it's English or social science or um, DWA or international affairs and economics or um, physics and you know biology. We try to get students to actually think about the disciplines, but in a much bigger picture and a much um, in a critical sort of way. So the intellectual and academic skills that the students get here. Oxdental um, really help them in whatever fields they should go into after they, they leave Oxy.